best settings for low end PCs 200 plus FPS 200 plus FPS boost in Fortnite chapter 4 let's see if this is true y'all but hey shout out to the guy for making this video and let's also react to it let's go Regardless of the PC you have, whether it is a low-end PC or a high-end PC, I guarantee okay. you guys that at least one of these settings that you change mm. will boost your FPS and will make your game feel so much better. To start off this video, we'll be going over settings outside of Fortnite, specifically your Windows settings. Go into your startup settings and disable as many apps as possible that you don't need when turning on your PC. On the right hand side, it does show how much of an impact- Okay, this is actually very very true, yes it does help a lot. Uh, I feel like people are not listening. It's, it's like, look, you can be giving people an advice and not everybody's going to be following that advice. So regardless of what he does, if somebody does follow his advice, then yes, please do it because it's true. Yes, this does affect your gaming performance. It affects everything. But not only that, though, uh, having this off and whatever you don't need, turn, you know, have it on in your background. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, you need to have this off, but... Again, I will recommend this score, uh, Cortana, I don't even know if somebody uses that, I don't even use that at all. Uh, Chrome, Microsoft, it's also a big player as well. Uh, Battle.net, uh, if you have an editing software as well, Epic Games Launch It, unless you, know, you want it open for some reason. And a bunch of other things, but that is true, very, very true. Let's keep going. Packs some apps will have when being turned on. This could be mm. for some of you guys, but typically it does show that there is a low, medium, and high impact. Which yeah, is that's true. More memory on your PC. True. If you have too many apps turned on when you do start up your PC, your PC will spend a lot of time trying to run those apps, but in reality, it is only making your PC much slower. True. Unless you have a high end PC. You don't need when you are starting up your PC, but I would also recommend you to keep necessary apps such as Windows security and even real time protection apps. Go to your power and sleep settings. Then go to this one's also this one's also another one as well having the setting on balanced or even power saver is only preventing you from getting more fps so make sure you do have this on high performance now you need so there is a lot of things that it did help me i don't know if y'all seen those um those videos that i used to do back then if you're brand new to the channel uh there's some videos that i used to do that you know probably sometimes uh let me just explain it right I used to play a low-end PC, my first PC, even though this, I don't consider this my first, first PC, but as a gaming PC or non-gaming PC, which is like my first one still. Uh, yes, it was an uh, Office PC. It was an Office PC, right? And I didn't know much about it. I thought, you know, maybe <laughs> I could play the, these games finally and whatnot, but... I think things were turning right back around, meaning that I had to do a lot of information or do some research just to not mess up with my words. I had to do a lot of research in order for me to find out how to actually play this game as smooth as possible. But not only that though, there was times that it did went wrong for me. Like for example, my whole screen, whole screen just turned green out of nowhere. I don't know if y'all ever had that problem. I think it's called flickering. Which, yes, I had that problem for like, wow, like a whole week or so. And I was trying to figure out how to take it out, how to take it out. Until I figured out that you supposedly, supposedly, had to upgrade or update your graphics card. But remind y'all, Office PCs, depending on which one you get, they don't bring graphics cards. Which, it was a huge problem for me, but it didn't affect my performance. It didn't affect me playing the game. It didn't stop me from playing the game. Even though I had to lower my 3D resolution, which... Uh, yeah, I kind of got, well, fun of for that, even though I didn't care at all, and I did, you know, I love those videos that I did as well, I enjoy playing on low end PC, it was fun for me, you know, I met new people, I learned a, I learned a lot of things, you know, uh, it made me go deep inside the PC of how to actually do this and do that, so technically it helped me in the other end, and the other end, kind of got some hate so it don't even matter at the end of the day right it don't even matter but anyways let's keep reacting to the video need to have fortnite open to do this next step but press control and escape to open up your task manager then go to your details tab make mm. sure you scroll down and find the file that says fortnite client this one is a brand new one game. to me this setting right here from task manager remind y'all i never seen these settings before this is my first time seeing these type of settings in task manager because i only did the basics and besides the basics i also optimized my pc like taking anything that i'm not gonna use taking um 
taking other apps as well or things that I might not even use in the future and also not only that is a bunch of things that I did take out especially for your power settings which it was a weird setting back then uh well what is it it was back in 2020 I believe so that those were that was the year that I got that PC and not only that I think it lasted like almost a year with that PC remind y'all there's a lot of things that it's gonna give your PC delay so it's just so whatever I feel like this guy is actually telling the truth or might as well he is telling the truth because these new settings they were I never seen these settings remind y'all I never seen these settings remind y'all I never seen these settings before this this is my first time but not only that though I think these are brand new settings so I believe I believe me you should even trust me at the end of the day but I believe I think this guy could actually give you more than 200 FPS boost so let's keep watching EAC.exe. Remind y'all, these are brand. I feel like this is brand new to me. Make sure to right click on it and click on set affinity. And once you click on that, wow, check CPU zero, then press OK. If you only have four cores on your PC, this may not work. The reason okay. why this works is because Fortnite is a heavily CPU based game. That's true. And it does use a lot of processing power on the first core, which is CPU zero. True. When you uncheck CPU zero, this lets Fortnite spread and use all of the other cores on your PC instead of just using all of its power on one core. Turn hardware acceleration off. If you have hardware acceleration turned on any of your browsers, such as Chrome and Microsoft Edge, mm. Spotify, Discord, or even Wallpaper Engine, this is taking a lot of performance from your game, causing you. I would say that this is actually very, very true. I would say it wouldn't lower your FPS, but um, in the other end, yes, it could probably make your gameplay very delayed. Uh, I'm telling you because I, I actually did this before. Probably not in Discord because I barely leave my Discord open. But most of the times, I would say in the Chrome. I won't say Chrome. I would say uh, Opera. 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 Opera, Opera, whatever. I would say in the browsers, yes, it does give you like a little bit of delay or a ton of delay. Not to the point that you can't play at all. No, 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 no. You can still play Arena, you can still play your games, but it could make your gameplay delayed. And for other things, I would even say I will let you find out, but just believe what I'm trying to say on this point. Yes, it'll make your gameplay very delayed, especially if you're streaming. You can lose more FPS. In Discord, go to your settings, go to advanced, and uncheck hardware acceleration. This if one, yep. Go to your that settings. one, if you if you have Discord open, yes. That one, yep. Listen to him. I'm telling you, listen to him. Then scroll all the way down. To the I feel like people are still not sure gonna follow you the way, man. Especially if you get a new PC and it's a high end PC. I think you should still you should still listen. If you are using Chrome, you will see two settings that say use hardware acceleration when available and continue running background apps when Chrome is closed. Make sure to turn both those settings off. While we're on the topic of browsers, if you do use Chrome, you probably will notice that they do use a lot of RAM on your PC, taking uh -huh. some of your performance. So if you don't need to use it while gaming, just make sure to close all of your tabs to get that extra little boost in performance. Uh -huh. in the wallpaper engine, go to your Hey! Yo, his background is fire! Nah! <laughs> His background is fire, man. Wow. Nah. I might have to change my background. My background is only like, wait, what? Flowers or something like that? Nah. This background is fire, man. Shout out to you, man. Wow. Down to the video section and turn off video. Remind y'all, these are brand new settings to me. Like, wow. I'm turning off all these settings. And inside of your graphics settings, make sure. This one, this one, like the one that you, I don't know if y'all see this right here. I might have to do a zoom in. But where you see right here, where you know it says browse and then a bunch of things that he has, right? This one did help me a lot. I don't know if it still does, but this one, I don't know if it was because I did put the wrong setting, but yes, this one does help. So he he knows what he's saying, man. So y'all better you listen to him. Off. You want to make sure to choose an app to set. And yes, you have to turn that off as well. You click on browse. So you want to go to your drive that has your Fortnite game installed in it. Then you want to mm -hmm. go to your program files and go to Epic Games. Go to Fortnite. Go to. I knew it. 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 Man. <laughs> I knew I put the wrong setting, man. But yes, he knows what he's saying, man. Fortnite game, go to binaries. Go to wow, I knew I did put the wrong Fortnite setting, man. Client, Windows 64 shipping EXE. Then you want to click yep. on it and go to options and make sure it is set to high performance. Mm -hmm. Search your game mode on your PC and turn it on. This setting optimizes your PC for gaming so your <laughs> games can run. 
I think so. I heard from different people that game mode gives you something. Game mode gives you something. Probably back then, I think it was chapter two or chapter yeah, I think it was chapter two most of the time. That this used to help you a lot, but according to low NPC, this thing was the worst thing for me. It gave me. I feel like I lost 10 FPS just because of this. Yes, just because of the game mode, I lost 10 FPS, 5 FPS, or it made my gameplay more. Yeah, like bad, but. Let's keep going. The best they can. In your background apps, make sure you have let apps run in the background turned off. Yes. Yes, man. Library. And on the right hand side this of one's also a major, major player. This one does uh Shut up. This one does actually <laughs> affect everything, man. Whatever you have download, especially if you don't have a good PC, yes, this is gonna affect you to the point that wow, you just just don't even play the game anymore, man. Wow, hold on. Apps, you can click on, click on them, then go to options. Yep. Make sure you have high resolution textures and DirectX 12 shaders turned off. Turn yep. off will make your game process and run much faster. Yep. Because we are getting rid of these high textures. Always make sure to update your drivers. Whether yes! You or video. Yes, man. If, I mean, you don't even have to have an office PC for this, but uh, if you have a graphics card, install in your office PC. Matter of fact, let me just... Yeah, I think it sounds good. Uh, instead of saying like, you know, like a bad PC, it's not a bad PC, I don't think it's bad, I see opportunity when it comes to a low end PC, but if you have an office PC with a graphics card installed and, you know, you have GeForce, then yes, and if you have GeForce, then I would say yes. Update your drivers, yes, it does play a big game on this, man, update your drivers. Always make sure your drivers are up to date so your graphics card is Not only that though, if you have a PC just like mine, if you have like a SkyTag or whatever brand it's out there, and also not only that, I wouldn't say this is a low-end PC, you can still get a 180 FPS consistently, or you know, from 144 all the way to 180. 180 is the best, but uh, if you update your grant, I say grant. If you update or upgrade your RAM, yes, you can play 240 FPS consistently, but most of the time it's just CPUs because, you know, this this game is based on CPU. CPU. You got it. But not only that though, uh, yeah, let's keep going. Does not start to act slow, messing up your game's performance. In your mm -hmm. control panel, go to your manage screen. This one, this one, wow, wow. But wow, I don't, whoever gave me, not even gave me, whoever I watched that actually helped me with this, I think it was two people, shout out to you as well because this actually helped me a ton, a ton, a ton to the point that I had no delay when it comes to building, I had no delay at all. So shout out to all y'all for actually helping us as a community, thank you because like, if it wasn't for these settings as well, trust me, I think I would have been lost. I think other people would have been lost unless you're you're really into PCs like that. But this does play a huge game as well. This one's actually, <laughs> this is going to affect everything that you do as well. Not everything, but if you have a low-end PC, then I would say, yeah, man. Copy all of wow. my settings. All of my settings are optimized to give you guys the best FPS that you can get. If you don't want to wow, all man. my settings, just make sure you have power management. You didn't even have... Honestly, y'all, y'all don't even have to play Fortnite in order. Y'all don't even have to play Fortnite in order to update this because, like, it's not, it's not only this. Like, it affects every single game. So what I'm trying to say is that even if you didn't have none of this, like, off, right? You can still play Roblox decently, not, not too good. You can still play Minecraft, but Minecraft is also a heavy game as well. I wouldn't say as Fortnite, but it still is. Same thing as COD. I think COD, for that, you actually have to follow all these steps as well. Not only that, but yeah, if you don't follow these steps, then these steps, I think you won't even be able to play any game. Especially if you have an office PC, then yeah, it's going to affect you a ton, a ton, a ton. But let's keep going. For maximum performance, have low latency mode set to uh, on or uh, ultra, uh, uh, and have texture filtering quality on higher performance. Uh -huh. Now, going into our game settings in the video section, you want to use full screen for your Windows mode. This is the thing, though. Uh, Fortnite also has its own settings as well, which is also affecting you, which it's understandable. But at the same time, at the same time, wow. Not only that, there's some settings right here. I'm, I don't know if y'all see my my mouse moving, but there's just some settings right here. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot they switched the crap. But if you go, I don't think it's right here. But if y'all know um, your oh, role play, no. sorry. If y'all know the role plays of all those clips that I record in your background, and then it, you know it just sends it to a file. That also plays another game as well, or it basically gives you a lot of delay as well. And not only that, it lowers your FPS. So. I would suggest turning that up and delete every single clip or whatever and just record in your background. Not only that though, your frame rate. If you have a low end PC or an office PC, an office an office PC, depending on which one you get as well, right? If you bought the one that it brings eight gigabytes of RAM, the max you can still play and also, you know, basically play consistently, it's 144 and 160 FPS. I'm telling you because I actually <laughs> I actually used to play and I still have that PC and I can still play low NPC. But not only that, I am going to bring that series back, which I hope you enjoyed as well. But stay tuned for that as well. And not only that, if you upgrade it to 16 gigabytes of RAM, the max you can play, the max max, like the ultimate, it's 180 in creative and 160 to 144 in uh, comp or you could say arena. That's the max, but not only that though, uh, your 3D resolution, if you have an office PC with 8 gigabytes of RAM or 16 gigabytes of RAM, the max you can play on it is 50 to 60 in creative, and depend, depending on if you're using a boost as well, the max you can play in arena or comp, you can say whatever, right? It's from 30 all the way to 45. Just because if you hit 50, you have to lower your FPS, which if you just wanted to have more more 3D resolution or, you know, upgrade the 3D resolution and keep the frame rate as low as possible as you can play Arena. If you're okay with playing 60 FPS, then yes, you can put it a little bit up to 50 or just keep it at 45. But yes, if y'all want me to bring that back, I will. I'll certainly will. But the only problem will be is the recording because the recording also plays another part in your PC. And not only that, it does give you the light. So the best one I would say is Metal. I don't know about OBS because OBS, I tried it and it's not... I'm going to have to see, man, because I feel like now they, ha they, they updated it. And not only that, I think you can also change the settings as well. But the best one that actually recorded the exact, you know, what I'm seeing right now, the exact frame rate and everything, the quality, everything, you name it, right? It did record it, but I had to load the settings in Metal, so I think I can do the same thing in OBS. But I feel like OBS, since it's going to be open, it's not like Metal that I can keep it in the background and I can close the app. No, it's not like that, but I'll have to figure it out. So let me stop talking. Let's keep going with the video. I am using stretch res, but it does say 1920 by 1080. Stretch res! I was gonna stop the video, but stretch res actually does help you a lot. I wish I knew about stretch res back then, which I think I did, but I didn't know how to, you know. I didn't know how to actually do it in my files, but wow. If you are playing on a toaster and you need more FPS, you can lower your 3D resolution to about 80%. I wouldn't recommend going too low because this will make your game quality look horrible. And of course, for all these settings, you want to have them set to low. Now, I think... Mm, yeah, that's basically the last thing. So, I don't judge anybody. I don't think you have a toaster PC, you know. I don't think nobody has a toaster PC. I think I see opportunity. I think it's your time to not only shine... But I think it's your time to get, if you really love PCs, right, and you're trying to get a high-end PC or you're trying to get a mid-tier PC, I think with that PC that you have, you can have an opportunity for yourself. What do I mean by that? What do I mean? If you want to do videos, that's your opportunity right there, right? If you want to get into editing or editing for other people or try to get into editing movies or anything like that, that's your opportunity. I see opportunity. For other people, if you're doing gaming, that's also another opportunity because not only that, you can prove other people wrong. But that's not the point of having that certain PC. The point is that it's making you learn. If you put your mind into it, right? When I had my low end PC, not only that, but it made me want to work. It's not like I'm outside working because at these these times I have a I had a different job. I don't know if I was fired. Nah, just cut that off, right? But 
and basically it's gonna put you into work because not only that though you have to take out anything that's giving you delay if you want to play games you have to use a booster because without the booster I think it lowers my FPS for some reason I don't know I used to still use the booster I used to still use the booster but not only that uh, I did record the last couple of clips and I also posted it on TikTok so I think I also did it on YouTube did I I don't even remember but on TikTok, I did post all the clips, all the last clips that I did on low end PC, which I think they were fire, you know. But I don't judge anybody. I don't think you have a toaster, but I see opportunity. I think you have an opportunity. If you don't take advantage of it, then that's on you, you know. It depends on what you, you know, what you actually want to do. Because if you actually love PCs or you just love gaming, you don't care about recording, right? I think you should take it as an opportunity to learn of how to take out all the delay and optimize your PC. That's what I see. I see opportunity. What do you see? What do you see? When it comes to something that everybody says that is bad, right? What do you see? I see opportunity. And I see something good. I don't see nothing bad about it. I see that I have to grind in order to get something that I want. And not only that, I'm basically working. So not only that again indeed. But not only that. I'm basically saying that appreciate what you have. I'm basically saying that appreciate what you have. Because maybe that's the only thing that you could have, you know, bought for now. I'm not saying you can't afford anything. I would think that anybody could afford anything. Just depends on, you know, if you actually want it, go get it. If you actually want to buy a brand new car, right? You're not going to buy a brand new car with, you know, with 30K with the money that you don't have, right? You're actually going to work for it in order to afford that car, right? So I wouldn't say that nobody can afford nothing. I'm not talking about expensive cars because you're not going to get an expensive car, neither am I. Especially to get that car, you also got you also have a high expense. You're not going to pay three grand for it to keep a car. That's I see that, like, that's dumb, man. Come on, you're not you're not gonna pay three grand in order to keep a car. I'm saying that also to myself as well because like it's dumb. I could I could probably got like a, a Toyota Camry, which that's also one of my favorite cars as well, or something that, you know, it's affordable, I can rely on and I can go anywhere with it. But appreciate what you have. Don't say it's bad, don't say it's this and that. It's like saying that you just got one of the cheapest shoes and it, you're just saying it's nothing, right? But that's the only thing that you can get for now. So appreciate what you have. Don't be like these kids or these influencers. Don't be like none of them. Be yourself. Appreciate what you have. And enjoy. Enjoy until you can. But anyways, y'all. Yes, this guy is um, it's legit. He's actually saying the truth. Uh, shout out to him as well. Oh, harsh feelings uh, against you or anything like that. Wish it to be successful as well. Anyways, y'all. Like, share, subscribe. Y'all know what to do, man. And let's get into reacting to more videos, y'all. Let's get into it. Let's go. And not also that, though. God bless everybody. God bless you. And, yeah. <laughs> let's get into more videos. And let's do more. Not too much to say. Enough said. Let's go.